insurrection on Capitol Hill. It's a pure theft in American history. Everybody knows it. Boom, these explosions of bullshit. We will stop the steal. people of Arizona. I will stand in recess until the call of the chair. We'll pause for the Thank you. The Patriots came in and I came with my son and we got right down to the Senate floor. He's just 14 years old getting a lesson at how to keep a republic. We're not going to take it anymore. It's not a protest. It's insurrection. You have to go home now. We have to have peace. So, as you can see in that video, the beginning, well, the whole video, right? You have people who aren't happy, all right, with the current situation, all right, with the globe, okay? And when is Biden's inauguration, okay? It says, by law, inauguration day is 20th of January, right? So January 20th, okay? As recording this video, it's about to come up. Opening remarks are usually scheduled for around 11.30, all right? And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be sworn in at midday. Mr. Biden will move in into the White House later in the day, his home for the next four years, okay? And... As you can see with Trump supporters, all right, who knows what they will do, what spirit the Henry Fowler is going to put in those individuals, okay? Because what Biden said, it's insurrection, all right? Not protest, it's insurrection, okay? And... That's just a prelude of the things that are about to come to this world. If you're new to watching this, this is the 100% truth, which comes out the camp of Great Millstone. I'm the brothers of car, all right, from the GMS Plain Tables Camp, Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp in Philadelphia, PA. Okay. All praise, honor, and and glory goes to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Kakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. The honors of apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. 
Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called, all right, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel today. If you don't look like a typical black, Hispanic, or Native American, you can still be an Israelite through your father's seed line, all right, his genealogy. If it goes back to an Israelite man, okay? And this is the key to prove that you're Israelite or not. All right, if your spirit bears a witness, so your spirit's proof, it's evidence that you are Israelite, okay? Because you're drawn to this 100% word which comes out of the camp of Great Millstone, okay? You fit the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and you have the gift of faith. You believe in this message, all right? Gospel meaning good news, all right? Topic of this video is going to be, all right? Sedition among men, okay. Race riots are coming. It's biblical, all right. Division is coming, all right. And the Lord is all is just gonna ultimately lead to the Lord's return, all right. These are just foundation and blocks that are being put for the Lord's arrival. The Lord's arrival, all right. A time like never before seen. All right, on this earth, okay. So you can see with those what the world calls Caucasian, right? A Caucasian race, right? Those Edomites, that's their real biblical nationality, okay. And they are your enemy if you're a black Hispanic, black Hispanic Native American. Listen to this, they are your number one enemy according to the Bible, the nation of Edom, all right. The wicked race of the Most High, the nation of his curse, all right? The Heavenly Father hates them, all right? And it's a pure hatred, all right? It's concentrated, okay? And he set them over you, all right? Because of your transgressions of his law, okay? Because you moved him to wrath. That's why the terrible things happen to you Black, Hispanic, Native Americans, all right? And... The thing is, all right, their kingdom's falling, okay? It has an inevitable end, all right? And the elites who rule the society, they're not going to allow their kingdom, all right, to just fall, all right, and dwindle away, all right, without a fight, all right, without um, establishing and pushing out their new world order with haste. All right, because they know they have a short time with speed. All right, because they know they have a short time. All right. So all these insurrection on Capitol Hill. All right. These uh, militias. All right. Across the U.S. All right. It's not there for no. They're not just going to keep what the world calls protesting. All right. Things are going to escalate, all right? There's not going to just be what the world calls nuclear missiles, all right, all across the globe, all right? And they're not, it's not like they're going to be, not, is they're going to be used, all right? Because it's all leading up to World War Three, the war to end all wars, all right? The major clash, all right? A time I never before seen. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. All right. So since the beginning of the world, all right, you may not know certain events that happen, all right, in this planet Earth. Okay, but I'm gonna name some that are that were ca catastrophic. Okay, the flood. All right. The flood was horrific, all right? Just, just uh, so much water to move, all right? L masses of land, all right, from each other, okay? To split masses of land, all right? That's why, okay, what the world calls cottons today are split, okay? Because it used to be one... All right, giant continent, okay, landmass, whatever you want to call it, all right, called Pangea, 
okay? But they split, all right, because of the flood, all right? So that water that the Heavenly Father was using, all right, to split land masses, all right? So you can imagine the death, all right, for the wicked of the world who are marrying, drinking, having fun, all right, thinking everything's a game, all right, being wicked, okay? And, of course, your judgment was not a pretty one, all right? You had the transatlantic slave trade. All right, a horrific time that they do not tell you all the things that happen in the schools. All right, you had Native Americans. All right, what happened to them? All right, what happened to the Hispanics? All right, you have um, what else? World War Two, World War One. Okay, all these events. All right, that people. The bombing of um the atomic bomb that was bombed, all right, in Japan, all right. All these events that people that's very horrific, all right. This is gonna be a time of great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. All right. So this time that's about to come is gonna trump all of these other times. All right, and except those days be shortened. So if days are not shortened, okay, the Heavenly Father does not speed up the time. All right, there should no flesh be saved. All right, so no one will be saved. All right, we'll have a way to escape because it'll be that bad. All right, but for the elect's sake, because it's all about the elect. All right, the predestined number of people all across the globe. Are gonna get saved. It's all about them, all right. It always is about them, okay. So, with you hearing this for the first time, you need to make sure you're part of that number, okay. And you cannot set in stone say, I'm gonna be saved, all right. You need to have confidence by what you do on why you're walking, all right, amongst why you have your right mind. All right, because the Heavenly Father cannot give you your right mind. So you can not know the correct way to um, conduct your life to please Him, to have a chance to escape the said perils that are about to come. All right. So it says, but for the elect's sake, all right, for their sake, all right, the chosen number, all right, all across the globe, all right, men, women, and children, all right, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So for their sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. It would be that bad. All right. You just got to imagine this certain things. All right. You got to use your imagination. All right. To imagine certain things that would be happening in this world. All right. Because your imagination is limited. All right. But the Heavenly Father, his thoughts are not your thoughts. All right. So anything you can think of. All right. The gore. All right, the screams, all right, the sorrow, grown men crying, all right, all the things you can think of, right? It's not going to go down like that, all right? It's going to be a total alter in reality, all right? People are not going to want to view life, all right? They're not going to want to view reality, all right? They don't want, to, they're not going to want to exist. All right. To be better off for them if they weren't born, put into what this world calls life, right? Because it's actually the valley of the shadow of death. All right. And they're going to seek to die, which I have right here. But the Heavenly Father is not going to allow them to. It's Revelation 9 and 6. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it. And they shall desire to die. So they desire to die. That's their what they want to do. That's what they're trying to do. They desire it to die. I'm better off dead than just being here in what this world calls life, existence, right? I'm better off um, having uh, no soul in my body. My soul leaves my body, right? 
and death shall flee from them. All right. But the heavenly father is not going to allow them to die. Okay. Which is completely terrifying. All right. Being on the opposite side of the, the creator. All right. The ancient of days. Okay. But there's going to be certain individuals who are. All right. Because that's their lot. Okay. That's their destiny. All right. So all these insurrections, these protests, all right, it's going to lead to a netable, all right, just a, just a, um, what's the word? The domino effect of more horrific times, all right? Because it's going to get to a time when these protests just get more chaotic, okay? They just get more chaotic and people are just trying to draw blood, okay? As you can see, there was someone shot, all right? There was someone shot in this Capitol Hill insurrection, all right? And blood was, there was blood spilled, all right? This is Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. The modern day swords, the gun, all right? What a lot of people take pride in, all right, the gun, okay? So one people shall fight against another, all right? For there shall be sedition among men, all right? Sedition's uprising, okay? Rebellion, all right, against civil authority, okay? And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, which is martial law, okay? Oh, time, times that are more harsh and severe, okay, more strict, fuck yeah, that, times are more strict, harsh and severe, okay, because of course, certain situations that will lead up to it, Okay, more chaos, war, all right? But they close and have checkpoints f f around cities, all right? You can't go to that city, all right? Because there's too much chaos and we need to regulate, um, keep the people in check, all right? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay, so men shall be afraid. All right, there's no mortal man, all right, walking on this earth, all right, who can say, I have no fear. All right, I fear nothing. Okay, there's no mortal man like that. All right, no, they can say it with their lips, they can certainly say it. All right, but it's not genuine, it's not actually real, it's not actually a fact. Okay, because the Heavenly Father has fears. For every single individual who walks this earth. All right. Tough guy to the Heavenly Father. That's a totally, that's what the world calls tough guy. A guy who just, um, I, it's not even worthy to be talked about. All right. What the world calls tough guys. All right. Of their mortal pride. Okay. Men shall be afraid. All right. So if men shall be afraid, how do you think a woman, a female, right? How would you think they will be? Okay. If men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity, no mercy, no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because the lack of bread, all right? Lack of food, all right? People will start losing it. And for great tribulation. All right. This is great tribulation. All right. Of course, the elected nation of Israel, they are going to go through the midst of it. All right. But for them, all right, they're going to get through it, the tribulation. All right. Not being condemned. All right. They're going to go through the tribulation to purify them, to be saved. All right. Just like. All right, the uh, the nation of Israel, 
all right? They were in the midst of Egypt when all the plagues of Egypt went down, all right? Watching the judgment that happened to the Egyptians, all right? And the Heavenly Father took every year's light out, okay? So for this time, all right, he's only going to save the righteous remnant because he has certain Israelites, all right, who he needs to get, all right, who needs to be taken, taken care of, all right? He has certain Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, who he, he's not going to save, all right, who's part of the chosen race, all right, because they need to learn death by pain, all right, because their wickedness that they've been, that they've been just indulged in, all right, they didn't care, so Heavenly Father's not going to care about them when it's his time to all right, punish the world for their evil and save his righteous remnant. All right. So, of course, all right, the Lord took the Israelites out of Egypt. All right, and they're leaving out Egypt. Okay, in the wilderness, right? It wasn't the most delicate, all right, easy ride. No, all right. The wilderness was harsh, all right? But they went through it, the righteous, all right? And you had the wicked Israelites who were complaining that we will be better off in Egypt, all right? The Heavenly Father allowed them to, all right, die off, okay? That wicked generation, okay? And they didn't see the promised land, all right? So those Israelites, all right, that wicked seed of Israelites, they're back today, okay. And they're gonna their judgment. Even thinking about it, all right, is what's the word? Um, it's gnashing of teeth. All right, it's very, it's very uh, um, detailed. Okay, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their house with the sword. And spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right. So these are the times we're coming to. All right. The end of all things. Okay. The beginning of a new age. All right. New rulerships come to this earth. All right. And it's of the righteous. All right. So with that being said, you need to repent. All right. Change one's mind. All right. Drawing to your power. Because he's your own power only as an Israelite, a so-called black and Spanish Native American, all right? And pleading that the Heavenly Father changes you, all right? Changes your lifestyle, changes your character so you can try, all right, to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, all right? For this time, all right? Because things are just going to escalate, all right? If you're not going to wax stronger, if you're not going to care about the most high all right you're just gonna be left for the wayside all right for destruction whether and that's the scary thing of you just waiting for destruction you don't even know it all right that's why you have to give it your all for the heavenly father all right for his sake all right this is mark chapter 3 and verse 24 and if a kingdom be divided against itself so if a kingdom be divided against itself all right the kingdom cannot stand, all right? So if a kingdom's divided against itself, a kingdom cannot stand, all right? It's not going to prosper. It's going to have a fall eventually if it's divided against itself. That's what the scriptures say, all right? It doesn't matter how much they push that America's to keep going on, all right? You can see by, you have Trump supporters, all right? Um, you you see, um, Democrats versus Republicans, so many different factions in uh, um in um this place known as America, which is Babylon the Great, the most wickedest kingdom ever established. You have so many different viewpoints and sides. Okay, you have Edomites, so-called Caucasians, all right, in America against Edomites, so-called Caucasians in Russia, all right. So the nation of Edom is divided against itself. All right, America is divided against itself. All right, America is not on the same exact page as the allies. Okay, so 
the nation of Edom, their fall is coming. All right. It's coming. It's plain to the eye. All right. It's plain to the eye. Okay. That's why you have to be. It's a blessing that you can see these things. If you can understand this song, this message. All right. This is Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What's required. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy power require of thee? So what's the requirement? All right. The fact that you're Israelite. All right. You walk up to the fact that you're that you're an Israelite, God's chosen people. All right, what do you have to do? But to fear the Lord thy power. So fear him. Okay? Because that's respect to the Heavenly Father. You fearing him to his standard, not yours. Okay. To walk in all his ways and to love him. All right. Walk in all his ways and to love him. Love is not just saying with your lips. All right. Love according to the Bible. All right, First John chapter five verse three, keep his commandments. All right, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Okay, to keep the commandments. All right, of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. So it's for your own good. All right, keeping his law, statutes, commandments. All right, for your own benefit, because righteousness brings. All right, is immortal. Okay. Laying up treasures for a place that's going to be everlasting. Okay. That's the proper mind frame you should have for the times that we're living in. The last days. Because days are just, they're just, they're just going by and by. All right. Time's getting sped up. All right. And we're literally living in last days. These days are short. All right. And the times can be sped up. All right. When utter chaos breaks loose all across the globe. All right. So you want to be. All right, spiritually, mentally prepared for the times. All right, having that faith, because faith's the key. And showing that faith through the things you do. This is Matthew 3 and 2. And saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, the actual best rulership that's going to be established. All right, in the universe. All right, that's going to be on earth. All right, and it's going to be a a major dramatic way, all right, it's put into effect, okay? So prepare and seek the Lord while you have the chance, all right, because the time is short. Lord willing, this bill is edifying all praise, honor, and and glory. Go see a howabash, shemel, shabash, kakadash. Shalom, which is peace. Yasharallah, which is Israel. Shalom.